We need to know those practices to neutralize radiation, heavy metals, uh, chemicals. If we can do that, then our cells can actually have a good energy and a balance between the positive and negative, and then we can heal. Now you give good food, that's the fuel. Think of the body as a car. We have to clean the car. We have to clean the air filter. We have to put good fuel in. We have to uh, cha change the uh, spark plugs. All of that is like, we are like a car. We have to take care of those things. It just doesn't naturally uh, take care of itself. Not with all the incoming pollution that we are receiving. Then when we have pollution, I'll just finish this. When we have pollution, it creates an environment for the body to take parasites on. And <laughs> parasites is a big thing, but the ancient ones knew that. that. A lot of the practices were herbal medicine practices. We knew we had to keep clearing out parasites from the system. So I talk a lot about parasites in my practice. According to you, which are the organs in the human body which are, are the most important for you to take care about it? Well, that's an interesting question. I think and our whole body is important, of course. So, but it's very important to clean the liver because the liver is the detoxifying agent. It's the most important. It's the biggest detoxifying organ. And it gets um, pretty congested very easily. So we have to, yes. So my book is based on a six week liver cleansing diet because after that we will see if along with the liver cleansing diet, there's cleaning of the heavy metals, there's cleaning of the chemicals, all of that, and the right foods to stimulate the liver to cleanse itself. It'll cleanse itself. He, the liver is the most, is the easiest organ to regenerate. It is the easiest, but it has to be kept clean. I think uh, we were we were uh, very blessed to have a great liver. So, so tell me more about this six the six uh, week detox. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. I like to I, I like to first of all clean up your pantry, get rid of all of anything that's processed, and we're talking here fresh fruits, vegetables, proteins. Mm -hmm. That is the living liver cleansing diet, which many people are living on that diet. However, to cleanse, we have to start somewhere. We can't just take a bunch of pills or herbs and think, oh, it's going to be better. We have to give the body a rest. Um, so the liver cleansing diet that I recommend is nice and gentle. Uh, the first three weeks, I like to use a liver cleansing drink, and that's the use of citrus with olive oil and blended and first thing in the morning as a breakfast. It's the, it, the, the, it's written in my book, the liver cleansing drink. So for three weeks, every morning you get up and you have this citrus with olive oil in it, which actually flushes the liver and gallbladder. So every morning you do that. And then the rest of the day is good food. When I mean good food, I mean clean food, organic, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, proteins, not to starve at all, but always putting pure, clean food that has not been processed. Like the way God wanted it, the broccoli looks like the broccoli, you know, that's how we, <laughs> that's how we do it. And, and it's important to have organic, not food that, that is not contaminated with chemicals and pesticides. I will be interested to see how Bulgaria's food is. It also has to do with the baths. Mm -hmm. I use therapeutic baths. Old, ancient, we always knew that baths were so important. So we use some baths to neutralize heavy metals, to neutralize radiation and chemicals. So a few times a week, you take your baths, your cells are starting to clean. Now you're giving good food and now you're cleansing your liver. There's a lot of tools that we are using to get the body healthy so that we can be, we can connect with what we're supposed to connect with. Know why, why are we here and what is our purpose? Isn't that the whole point? I mean, I, I'm, I, I've never had a, a drug. 
Okay. <laughs> you know, I haven't had antibiotics or anything like that, nor my kids. So we know how to take care of ourselves and it's now not time to teach it because who knows what the, the world's going to be. We better learn how to take care of ourselves. It shouldn't cost so much money mm -hmm. to take care of our health. That Because I, I think that there's a stress, financial stress, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. so we, I, I, I'm here to teach simple ways, to make good choices. We can be healthy without spending a whole lot of money. We don't have to be a movie star <laughs> to, to be healthy. That's not true. 